The pandemic has meant more potentially dangerous situations at home for families around the world who have no choice but to stay at home because of lockdown measures. In Europe, WHO member states are reporting up to a 60% increase in emergency calls by women who've been subjected to violence by their intimate partners. That's compared to numbers from last April. With job losses, rising alcohol-based harm and drug use, stress and fear, the legacy of this pandemic could haunt us for years. So much related to COVID-19 has been unparalleled and is outside our control and understanding. But with solidarity, we can prevent violence from blighting the lives of generations. Shining a light on violence is a first step towards perpetrators being held accountable. China has accused U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo of repeatedly telling lies in his attacks on how Beijing handled the coronavirus outbreak. The Chinese Foreign Ministry said this on Thursday, reiterating that American politicians are making baseless accusations against them. The U.S. has accused China of mishandling the coronavirus pandemic. Israel has been easing restrictions put into place to help slow down the spread of the novel coronavirus. And now it's reopening malls and outdoor markets. Israelis had been confined to their homes and neighborhoods for weeks, but with the easing of restrictions, they're also allowed to travel anywhere in the country. These helmets look like they're straight out of the 80s hit Robocop and they're as high-tech as they look. These are smart helmets, which check the temperatures of travelers. An airport in Rome is the first in Europe to use them. These have portable thermoscanners in them that can screen people for symptoms of COVID-19 from up to seven meters away. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's really, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Batman and Spider-Man, but there's a new hero in town. In one of Banksy's latest works, this boy chose a nurse as his superhero over traditional action figures. The art is paying tribute to the National Health Service in Britain. The BBC says the artist left the artwork at this hospital in South England with a note thanking workers for all they've done during the pandemic. When you're walking around and everything's so clinical and to see a beautiful picture like this, it just, it, like you say, it warms the heart to know that someone's done this for us in the hospital. Um, it's just beautiful. Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.